do us a favor, hit that like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. And you know what? Do I ever say hit the notification button? Do I even have a notification button? Well, I'm going to start saying that as well. Go ahead and hit that notification button as well. I'll have to check into that. You are now in tune into the United Souls Network. Okay, got my chair laid back. I'm feeling good. And I'm just chilling. Um, happy top of the spring for everybody. Uh, you know, we're going to do a spring cleaning in this video. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. But we're just going to go where the spirit leads. And, well, let's get right into it. The last video I did, I was uh, speaking about... I was speaking about... Some of the people that you see are not... They didn't have natural births. And I was speaking about how... Uh, the evidence... For all of these billions of people, the evidence is not present. You don't see pregnant women walking around during the day. I mean, you just don't see it. But yet, the Earth's population is steadily at a level population. With all of the wars that's taking place, with all of the deaths that take place, it only takes a person... One second to die and nine months to be brought into this world. So just looking at the mathematics itself, you can see that something is not right. And, you know, I even believe that it's no way that all of these people have birth certificates. Even when you think about the social security number, you mean to tell me. That let's say America has what, like 300 million people. You mean to tell me they have passed out 300 million social security numbers? Do y'all actually think a human being is coming up with all of these different social security numbers and all of these telephone numbers? Let's get real, people. I mean, you can you can download a WhatsApp telephone number and you will never receive the same number twice. So that should tell you something like only God can create a human being and that human has a unique handprint different from everybody else in this world. So you mean to tell me a human being can can also have an infinite amount of social security numbers and they never run out of a number? Come on, y'all. Let's get real. Let's stop playing games and get real. Like, even all of the, um, the technology we utilize from day to day, you mean to tell me that a human being created all of this technology that you see down to the most minute things that you use from day to day that you don't even think about. Like, for instance, a uh, a remote control sunroof. You know how much intricacies intricacies have to go into the design of the wheels that's on the inside, the rubber, all of the little mechanical parts and units you mean to tell me a human being thought about all of that? Well, let me ask you this question. Why haven't you thought about all of that? Think about it. And see, another trick of the human prison bar realm, it works like this. They put this illusion world before you and they also program into you the idea of inventors. Somebody, somebody else invented it. So the scapegoat that keeps the smoke screen up is to have you believe that somebody else did it. So we live under this illusion of somebody else did it. So that makes us not question the things that left side is saying to you because you under this 
illusion that, well, somebody else did it. That's the answer to all of um, the problems. Well, all of the things that you don't think about that make sense when you really think about it. So to ease your mind of the nagging question, you'll say somebody else did it. And that erases the uh, dis-ease of having to think about it. You'll just say, somebody else invented it, love side. It wasn't me. Somebody else did it. Somebody else invented the plastic straw that I drink out of every day. Somebody else invented that door lock and the, and the, the millions and millions of different key grooves that every key has to have so that one key can't open up everybody's door in a neighborhood. Even down to something like that. How can they just keep coming up with different key grooves that fits into an individual lock so that it'll be different from the next lock? Think about that stuff. But you'll say to yourself, somebody else did it. Somebody else invented it. Okay. Then you under the illusion. The illusion of somebody else did it. Somebody else did it. When the reality is. Nobody. Nobody created this stuff. That's the that's the truth about. All of this human prison ball realm. I'm at. I'm at the conclusion now. And we haven't spoke about this before. But the HPB realm. Is a holographic a design it's a holographic design nobody invented anything nobody invented anything um as far as like art artwork and little you know little small gadgets and things like that but i'm talking about major major technologies even some of the um the small technologies a human being did not invent it down to a screw how do you think a, a human could create a screw and know have y'all seen a screw how it has like that spiral those that spiral groove that reminds me of the the dna helix and that's how you know that the screw which holds things together is nothing but a metaphor for some kind of divine helix race of superhumans who even created the screw. That's why that screw is in that spiral like the DNA. We didn't create it. Some kind of beings created it. Some of them can look like human beings. I know, I know y'all saying, yeah, left side, you never, you never spoke about this before. That's why this is a ever increasing channel. I told y'all the HPB information, it never ceases to grow. You think you've heard everything, you haven't heard everything. This thing is a new frontier. This channel we got, we haven't touched nothing yet. This is a new frontier for everybody, myself included. So don't, don't think you know everything about the HPB rim. We went over basics. It's a lot left to learn and it never stops. So yeah, like they have left their imprint. Little telltale signs down to that spiral DNA helix of a screw. You see what I'm saying? They leave little telltale designs just to remind us who's in charge. So don't think we created this stuff. And another thing, when I was telling y'all in that other video about how you see different faces every day and... You just take it for granted that, oh, this is just another person I've never seen. They just live up the street somewhere. And this person walking this dog, oh, that's just, you know, a random person. They had a natural birth. 
And, you know, they're just walking their dog up the block. Now, some people did have natural births. But but don't take it that every that everybody you see came about the way you came about. And I used a, an example in the last video. And I was speaking about how, you know, you can have a dream. And you see people in your dreams out of nowhere. You've never seen that person's face before. Okay? Those people in your dream that you've never seen their faces before, when you wake up, some of those people, they can pass in and out of this portal dimension between dream and reality. It's a thin line that separates the two between dream and reality. Now, what makes you think that you can cross over into a dream and see people you've never seen before and then wake up but and think that, oh, you left those people behind in your dream and you won't encounter them when you are awake? No, it don't work like that. Because if you can cross over into their realm, what makes you think they can't cross over into this realm? Because last time I checked, and correct me if, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jax, last time I checked, any doorway or entrance, it goes both ways. Am I right or wrong? Think about that. What I'm saying to you, it makes sense. Let's utilize the law of exceedings. Now, last time I checked, any entrance or gateway, it goes both ways, in and out, entrance and exit. If you open up your window, air can blow through your window. Just like the air that was in your room can blow outside. It goes both ways. So what makes you think is any different for the dreams? If you enter their world, what make you think they can't enter your world? The entrance goes both ways. It's not a one-way thing. No. It's simple, man. This stuff is simple, but yet it's complex. The complexity is due to the distractions of everyday life that makes you not Think about what I'm saying because people so busy and caught up in traffic, literally picking up their kids from work. I mean, from school, trying to keep a job, trying to pay bills. You so caught up in the in the illusion that you can't see what left side is saying. But that's OK. That's why I do the thinking and I make the videos and you can watch it and download the information. It's all good. It's all good. That's why I exist. This is your portal for this type of information. That's why I exist. This is a, this is a pit stop for you to take some cold water of reality and splash it on your face after you watch this video. This is what these videos do. It's a cold splash of reality water on your face to wake you up to the reality of what's really taking place. Not what they want you to believe what's taking place. No, what's really taking place. So just like you can enter into their world, they can enter into this world. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. You know what, you know what deja vu means? You know that experience when it feels like you lived this life before? You might um you might um, come across a certain uh, intersection or or place, or you might see, or you might be having an uh, interaction with someone, and momentarily, somewhere within that interaction, you'll be like, I felt like I did this before. You know what that means? Nine times out of ten, that's a sign that you encountered a dream person. And what that person did or what that moment did, it 
awaken that dream self inside of you because you encountered it in a dream before. Remember, the portal goes both ways. So you may have encountered, encountered a person, a stranger, and you may be speaking to them and, you, and then you have this deja vu feeling. That's because somewhere during that day, you cross paths with a dream person who left that world and came into this world. You came across something from that dream world and that's why you had that deja vu feeling because you interacted with something from their side. You see, dreams, dreams don't know time like we know time on this side. So when you intersect with a dream person, it kind of bogs your memory of things. And you'll be like, it felt like I did this before. Because what happened is you quantum leap. You quantum leap either into the future or the past. Because that dream eye, it covers all parameters of, the, of, of space and time at once. So when you cross paths with someone, you either felt like you did it before. Now that can mean you looking into the future. And it feels like you did it before because you're looking into the future. Or it could be a, uh, a regression where you actually did it before in a dream. In a dream. Because all of this is just a dream. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to let you think about it and work it out within your own self. Tell me what you all think about this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. I'm going to leave the link to um, the merch at the bottom of this um, video. You want to donate, feel free. The information is at the, um, the end of this video. And um, hope you all got something out of this. This is spring cleaning. Um, we got a lot in store for the spring. You know, the top of the spring. So I had to do a video today because this is special. You know, the spring semester. Spring semester. Tell me what you all think about this video in the comment section below. And again, this is Left Side of the Brain signing out. Jaguars up, HPB's down.